again, my name is Steve Szynski. I'm from uh, SRI. I head up uh, global partnerships for SRI. Uh, I've been at SRI for oh about five years or so, uh, but I'm a short timer in comparison with with uh, with many folks around SRI. And I want to, uh, before we get going with Norman, I introduce uh, Dr. War Norman Winarski to you. Uh, Norman has been uh, with SRI, if you count. Uh, his time back in Princeton, New Jersey with RCA, became Sarnoff as part of General Electric, and then came out here, what, about 14, 15 years or so ago? Yeah. Um, has been 39 years? Is that yeah. yeah. Is that about right? And he's just retiring as president of SRI Ventures. Ah, so let's talk about Siri. I know everyone is anxious to hear the inside scoop on Siri, okay? February of 2010, we launched the product. Once we launched the product, this was an independent company. Once we launched the product, next thing that happens, almost two weeks, a week, two weeks later, the CEO of our company, Don, gets a phone call. Hi, this is Steve. He says, Steve who? Steve Jobs. He says, sure, hangs up. <laughs> and so he gets a phone call back again. No, really, it's Steve Jobs. So at that point, he said, okay, and uh, Steve, you know, what do you want? Steve said, I saw your product. I'd like to have this, invite you over to my house. So we invited them over to the house. So Doug talked to the board. I was on the board, as I said. And the board said, go talk, but please do not sell, because there's another critical element of every company. When do you decide to be acquired? And when do you decide, no, we'll go public? And we were starting to reach that stage. We had great response when we opened up the product. We were being downloaded at more than one a second. We're number one in the App Store. We were one, you know, it's amazing. Um, we tested every computer system there was. So uh, Steve Jobs probably called <coughs> In the next two weeks, 15, 20 times, personally, started interacting with us. What do you need? What do you want? Uh, uh, You're a big Apple uh, Mac fan, so you just yeah, I mean, yeah, right. And so, in the end, he made an offer we couldn't refuse. <laughs> so, uh, the other thing that was strange about it, I, I, I know we're running out of time, but. We were simultaneously being courted by, in the Android world uh, by Verizon. And we were about to have to deliver an Android version. This is in the book. We were about to have to deliver an Android version on um, April more at 10 AM. I can't remember the date. At 10 AM of that day, only two weeks after Steve's call. <laughs> He did not want this delivered to the Android version. So you can imagine he wants it on Apple iOS. <clears throat> we rushed with dozens of lawyers and everything to look and make it and, and complete the deal. And the deal had to be completed because if it wasn't, we would have had to walk away from Verizon, which is not a good thing to do when you're a small company. You don't want to walk from a great company. So as a result, um, it was a 10 a.m. deadline. We had to deliver to Verizon at 8 a.m. The deal was closed, and Steve Jobs called the CEO. Steve Jobs called the CEO of Verizon and said, "Sorry, we're not going to deliver." <laughs> <laughs> so, so, 